Very important. Thank you. When you get to the section, if they are not busy, they will give you the thumbs up and you can swipe through your card. If there is a queue, because obviously the general public are now using the pool and the gym, the children can take a wide berth, walk past the queue, and over to the door. One of the teachers is you can stand here and communicate with the receptionist when they're ready. Thank you. Coming over here, there will be a keypad and you will know the pin. Use the pin, open the door, and we'll get it in there. So you will be asked to come in quietly still. If you're um, on the second school in the next school all the year, so you need to be nice and quiet so that you can hear instructions about where you're going and what's happening. So we'll walk through. What you'll see there is the toilet. So we have some male toilets. And then the ladies' toilet. You'll be told in advance whether you're school A or B. If you're school A, you will be entering children this way. And we've got two aisles, and what you'll find is if you go down, there'll be markers on the wall to say where to stop. So A will be on this side. You have a walk down. You take the first ones, and we've got the marker on the wall to show you which side is A. And then A will also come down here, filter through, and again there's a sign photo down saying where A will stop. Once you've got your change from cubicle, take your bag, you can put into cubicle, get change, so that's into cosy, your sneaker and your goggles, and then you'll put everything back in your bag. You need to keep everything nice and dry and tidy for when you come out. Don't put the towel on top, so you're not having to go and see the uniform for it. Um, and then you will leave the bag in the cubicle and then you'll go and line it up. We'll do that in a minute. I will show you where school B's will go. They will come down this side, the past the room pool. And we'll filter in this way. Down that side and then round back. So, you're going to leave your bag, everything inside it, and then we're going to head back to the shower area. We we'll ask you to have a quick win, so pop the towels on, under, and then we're going to line up one line of girls and one line of boys, ready to go on the full side. You won't move on full size until you're asked to do so by one of our student teachers. That's just to make sure that we've got the test over to them. Once you've been counted to be on to the full size, the teachers will put the numbers on the board. So, boys, girls, and the total. And if there's any non swimmers, write that underneath. When you walk through, 
and they stand at this end and over here, and you'll wait for the previous school to walk through into the salvage. On your first visit, you'll have a swim test and a learner form, and then you'll be put into groups. Those groups you need to remember for the following week, so you may be in the learner form or you may be in the main form. Once you've been put into those groups, you're going to go over to your teacher. So you may be in here or you may be in here. You'll begin your lesson. During your swim lesson, the fire alarm may go off. If the fire alarm goes off and you're in your swim lesson, you'll line up at that door over there, in one line of boys and one line of girls. And if the fire alarm goes off during your and you're getting changed, you'll line up at that brown door over there, in one line of boys and one line of girls. Make sure you wait there and take care of the instruction. During your swimming lesson, you may hear the whistle blow. If you hear one short blast of the whistle, that means stop, look, and listen to your teacher. If you hear two short blasts of the whistle, you need attention from another member of staff. If you hear a long blast of the whistle, it may be that it's the end of your swimming lesson, so you climb out your nearest side, or it may be that the fire alarm goes off. If that fire alarm goes off, you line up at either this door or that door over there, and you climb out at your nearest side. At the end of your swimming lesson, you'll be told to stood over here in one line of boys and one line of girls, and you'll wait there until the next school comes on to the side and you'll be counted through and then go through to the table. During your swimming lesson, this floor is beautiful, so it may be raised to a certain level so you can stand up. This will be different from when you swim in the evening with parents, so you can be aware of that. So this area here is the shallow end where you can stand up, and that far side over there is the deep end where you will not be able to stand up. So you will come through here, walk the way, into the shallow area where you can stand up and then you'll have a quick shower. You have a quick shower, it's mostly back to your feet, you'll help you remember where you were. Again, aims will feel to be that way, things will feel to be there. If you ask you still to be nice and quiet, there will be another class coming in after you, um, so you need it nice and quiet, so don't have any instructions. But then, as quickly as you can, everything's back in the bag, double check you haven't left anything behind, and then the exit, also, your fire exit for if you're getting changed in the change room is down here. So once you've changed, you will come on at the door with my boys and my girls. You will not go through that exit until somebody has told you to go through it. You sit on the car park and your buses will be there. You need to stay nice and safe to make sure that everybody is together before we leave. Same for us, the you won't go through that door until a member of staff is going to speak so. Once you're out of the building, onto buses, back to school, and then we will see you the following week for another brilliant lesson. To quick recap, on the day of your training, please aim all your fingers at home. There's no fingers to be born in the water. Don't forget your kids. And must be tied back, nice and tight, they sit out of face, ready for the spin packs to go on if you hide. Please remember that it's a public building, so you need to make sure you're nice and quiet. You are representing your school, in case you need to make sure you're really quiet, outside of the building and entering the building as well.